Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my Angular NGRX course. In this video, what we will try to do is, we will try to implement the NGRX data in the lazy loaded module. So, how we can implement the lazy NGRX data in the lazy loaded module. Right now, our application is not a lazy loaded. For example, if you try to see, you are have, we are having only the one root module. There is the app module and we are implementing the NGRX entity data module here directly. So that means, so if you want to divide the entity data for each entity, for example, post is one entity. Tomorrow you will be having one category and uh, products, everything you will be having. Right? Each one will be having one separate module. And each, uh, each uh, module will be having one entity data module. If you want to implement that one, how we can implement it here? So first thing is first, what we will try to do is, we will try to create a new module that is nothing but the post.module.ts. Right? So now here, what I will try to do export class post module. So this is the first thing what we will try to do. So add rate ng module, right? So ng module, and here you will be having the imports. So another one will be the declarations. What are all the components necessary? Here you will be adding, and last one will be the providers. Okay. So we have added this one all. Now let's go here and create the routing so let's extract all the routing what is present in the app routing here we are trying to remove this all posts let's copy this all posts and here i will create one variable constant routes of type routes okay and this one will be equal to here i'll implement and i can remove this one and i can remove this one and i can remove this one I can remove all wherever the post is there. I can remove. So let's import all the dependencies here. Resolver, sorry, resolver, and uh, what we can say add post component. So now here, what I can say, edit post component. Okay, here you will be having single post component. Okay, we have included all the things. So now what I need to do. First, I need to import the common module, and another one will be the what I can say router module for route, right? For for child, sorry, for child, for child, and this one will be what I can say the routes. I need to implement the routes here. Okay, so first one is completed. Now, what I can do here? Let's go to the app routing module. Where is this app routing module? Yeah, I can remove this all the things up to here. So now I can remove these two things also. And here I can write something like load children. And this should be a method and it should import slash post post slash post dot module okay dot then so it will return a promise and you will be having m dot post module right so m dot post post module right that's it so now we have implemented here let's go to the app module and here in this app module i can remove these all declarations here right so i can move over into the post module where is this post module yeah in the declarations i can paste it everything so first one is completed now if i try to go and if i try to see so compiled successfully without any problem okay so add post component is declared here post dot module is creation of ng module but is not a pure component so post list component everything we have implemented here and let's go to the app routing and here let's try to remove this all the things okay and in the app dot module also we can remove whatever the things are necessary we can remove everything yeah, perfect and i can take this provider also post resolver there is no need for us to add this here and in the post module i can add this perfect right so now everything will be perfect Good. And we are getting some errors so post slash add everything some errors okay let's try to see the output first before going 
so if i try to open this one so i'm able to see here and i'm able to see the output also here if i try to refresh this one so what could be the so post dot module also is loading so that means so we have successfully added the lazy loaded here if i click on this one and if i go to the go to post space so post module is loading so perfect so we have implemented the lazy loading thing so we will try to see those things also so now what i need to do i need to add the entity metadata so now here the for the post we will be having only single in meta so single entity that is nothing but the post entity so what we can do so there will be no entity metadata so i can copy this entity metadata and i can paste it in the post module right so here i can add it here entity metadata should extend this entity metadata map okay and what i need to do so in order to add this entity metadata i can i cannot directly use entity data module for root i cannot use so here we need to inject it through the constructor so how can we inject it so constructor so you'll be having eds entity definition service so through this entity definition service we need to inject so you will be having this one so in the constructor what we can do eds dot eds dot register metadata map okay and we will we need to send this entity metadata right sorry entity metadata yeah we have this one so now we need to register the we need to add this entity metadata like this so now let's go to the app module and what we are doing we are trying to add this post data service in the constructor right so now let's go to the post dot module and we can add it here also okay so now i am adding it here so I, let's inject this one so for every module so whenever you are adding the module you can do it like this so i can paste i can do it like this and if i go to the app module and i can remove this one and i can add it directly to the post dot module here okay so if i add it here directly that's it finish so now we have added directly now if i do if i go to the post here let's try to see the output whether it work or not so still it is working so without any problem it is working so if i go if i refresh this one if i click on go to post so i am able to see the output see. so we are able to do the for the lazy loaded module also so we have successfully applied for the lazy loaded also so now if i go here and if we try to solve the problems what are the problems we are getting let's try to solve the problems what are the problems we are facing now if you go to the app module now we can remove these all provider service and all those things also we can we can remove this entity config first okay so we can remove this entity config so now if i try to refresh this one again we will be able so we are able to get the outputs without any problem so for from root we have removed and here post data service also we can remove and we can add it here so this is this is related to this one right so we can add it directly here also one step what we can do and here if i try to refresh be able to get the output we are still able to get the output so not a problem and if i try to see the output here so these are the things we are able to see so what it is happening so let's try to solve this one so it is saying so let's try to rerun it again or otherwise we will be able to get ng survey i am running the ng survey again so these are the errors we are getting so when i try to deploy it again so when i try to run it again so we are getting the errors. so that is telling that form group edit post form and these are the errors we are telling okay so now let's go to the app module so because of react to forms module not present so this could be the reason so now i can take this react to form module from here and let's go to the post module and here in this import we can paste it here okay so i think this reactive form module yeah, maybe this could solve the issue compile this one right in quoted i think reactors form module yeah, not quoted let's try to see worked or not yeah it's successfully compiled without any problem now if i try to see the output here let's go to the post page and still i am able to get the output but what we have did we have loaded this all the post module in the lazy loaded way and the ngrx data module entity data module is also loaded in the 
lazy loaded so what we have did here so in the app module nothing is there so entity data module for root empty object we need to queue so we are not giving any entity config and here in the post module through the entity data definition service we are adding the entity meta metadata map okay so we will be having only the post here we will be adding like this and also what we are doing so here we are registering the service if you have your custom data service you will be registering the service through the constructor so for every lazy loaded module we will be doing like this only through the entity definition service we will register the corresponding entity metadata and we will register the corresponding post data service also you register okay so this is the way we will be doing and also the same scenario so if you want to have the sort comparer also we can use the so you will be having the sort comparer we will be having right sorry in the post you will be trying to write so here in the sort comparer also we can write sort comparer we can write sort sorry sort by name we can implement sort by name and we can write the function here directly sort by name so how it will take a of type post so it is of type post right a of type post and the b of type post it should be post and it should return a number okay so now this is the post thing so now post we should uh, auto include this one post okay so we have added now here what we what i can do a dot title dot local compare of b dot title i can do so if you want to get in the descending order we already discussed it right let compare we can take this one in one variable okay let's take this one in one variable and here what i can do oh let's take this one in one variable and here if compare is greater than 0 then return minus 1 so if compare is less than 0 then return positive number or otherwise return so compare so if both are equal means it will return 0 so you can return 0 or otherwise you can simply return the compare so this is the descending order so if you try to see here go to the post space so the z data will come first we see the scenario see the z the title having with the z it is coming first so if i just simply return the compare here return compare here what will happen the a ascending order it will be it will become the ascending order so a will become first so yeah here see d d is coming first so this is how we can also sort the post details also okay so now you if you, if you are having the primary key with a different name other than the id so you can use the select id so this all comes on the entity data so you whatever the entity data parameters are there you can use select id you can use it okay so if you have the entity name different other than the post you can also use the entity name you will be having entity name yeah he, here you will be having the entity name okay these are all the parameter configurations so use for the entity metadata okay this is all complete about the ngrx data so we have seen how to load the ngrx data using the lazy loaded module and also we have seen the configuration thing also else also we have did all the CRUD operations using the ngrx data okay so this is about the ngrx data so hope you understood this all uh, how to how we can do the uh, CRUD operations using the ngrx data okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you